Hello and welcome back to the June edition with the Investment Gem. Um, this month I'm not going to talk about tax or the end of the financial year. I'm going to talk about the market and what the market is still doing. Um, so as you would see on the media, they're advertising that there is a shortage of rental properties and we're in a rental crisis. We're currently not in a rental crisis. Um, low social economic housing is potentially in the rental crisis. Um, but houses that are priced higher are definitely not in a rental crisis. So the issue is going to be the presentation of the property or the rent that you have that property listed for. If your property manager calls you to suggest dropping that rental price, she's suggesting that rental price be dropped for a reason. So let's be honest, it's in the best interest of your property manager to lease your investment property at the highest price possible. But I'm going to give you an actual example of a property if you leave it sitting on the market for eight weeks. If your property is listed at $620 per week and you have that property sitting vacant for eight weeks of the year, so you advertise it for eight weeks, you have had no interest on the property and you can't lease it, your yearly income on that property or rental income is roughly $27,300. If you had have listed that property at $550 per week and you had it sitting on the market for two weeks only, you would have actually made roughly $27,500 for the year. So you would have made $200 more for leasing it at a lower price and letting it sit on the market for less time than you had it sitting on the market for that high price. So when your property manager suggests dropping the rent, ask them why they're suggesting to drop the rent. Um, obviously, if it's been sitting vacant and there's nothing wrong with the presentation, it's obviously the price. So it's in your best interest to lower that price and get the property leased quickly. Also, speak to your insurance company. How long do they cover a vacant property for? This could be one of your clauses. Do they cover the property for over three months once it's been sitting vacant or does your insurance become null and void? So have a think about it. Have a look at how much time your property's been sitting on the market, what price it's been sitting at, and drop that price so you can get it leased quickly. Any questions though or any concerns, please give me a call at Fitzpatrick's and I'm happy to help you through any concerns you may have regarding your investment property. And I'll see you next month on the Investment Gem.